Hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you about this unique software that I found for really any videos, but most commonly I've seen it being used in stop motion videos. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, and not exactly how it works, but what I know about it. And then I'm going to show you how this specific software that I picked. So this specific software is called Flow Frames, and the idea behind this software is you use an AI essentially that can look at a video that you give it and increase the frame rate. It like looks at indiv each individual frame and computes it and returns you a video with like usually I do two times as many frames but you can do up to like four or even eight times as many frames but it does start to get a little bit wishy-washy if you add like try to get it to do too much stuff but that's the basic idea is it uses an AI to boost the frame rate of your video. Now you might be wondering why I'm using flow frames specifically. There are other softwares and AIs out there that can do the same thing as flow frames. But for me specifically, this was the easiest to use software that I could find that also worked with my hardware. Specifically this Rife Vulkan slash NCNN implementation. This one should work on any device. Um, it might just take longer if you have weaker hardware. Then the next thing you're going to notice is there's this input video or frames folder. So you can either select a folder full of just all of the frames in a row, and then it'll spit back out a folder with however many extra frames you wanted, or you can just put the video and it'll spit out a video and you can choose exactly where to in this output directory section. And then in output FPS and speed, it usually, if you give it a video, it'll be able to detect how many FPS. So for mine, I usually shoot at 12 FPS, and it, sh it always has detected, hey, you're at 12 PS FPS, how much do you want? You can do 2, 4, or 8. And usually I do 2. If you do too much, um, if you like ask it to do too much, you'll notice that sometimes it gets a little bit wishy-washy. You can also use it to set the speed, so if you want to make the video, like, there's not really any extra frames per se, but like the video is just slower, but it's still smooth. It can also do that using this setting right here. Then you get to pick which version of the algorithm you want. The latest one, obviously, is probably the best idea. Go the fastest. Um, if it's not working, obviously, just try another one until you find one that works. And then you get to pick whatever file type you want. I just choose MP4 because it's the easiest to do with anything. So that is basically it. You put all these settings in, and then you just hit this interpolate button. And depending on the video, it has taken me a variety of times. For a minute long video, in my 12 frames per second. Um, it has taken anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour and a half. And I don't know why. I think if you're using your computer for other things at the time, it could slow it down. Um, but uh, yeah, I will mention that if you have too big of jumps in your stop motion videos, the AI does have a difficult time figuring out what's going on. So, like, in the video that I re released earlier today, um, I actually chose not to use the version that I put through this software because there were several sections that the AI just kind of struggled on, and I thought it looked better in 12 frames per second where I didn't have any of those. Um, that is pretty much it. This uh, flow frames is pretty intuitive and easy to use. Um, if you guys have any other questions about it, uh, go ahead and just drop a comment. I'd be happy to answer all of your questions. And uh, yeah, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already.